Hello, Zebra Herd, and welcome to... Go Vacation! Yeah, Go Vacation! A funny little game that just got added to the Nintendo Switch, which I think was originally launched on the Wii. It looks really cool. It's basically a compilation of different mini games that are all summer vacation inspired. So I figured we might just do a couple of episodes exploring the vacation island and doing some mini games. And if you enjoy it, maybe we'll play more. Maybe we won't. You can let me know. But with all that being said, let's get started with Go Vacation. Okay, what's really cool about this is you can make your own avatar or you can choose from your me. Your me, your me cannot wear hats or glasses at the resorts. Oh, that's a shame. But it looks like we do have two me's here, okay? Very cool. Here's mine. <laughs> that does not fit on that body. That is like not proportion. Okay, well, we'll try this out. It looks like you can actually change some details, right? Or no. Okay, so we could choose our own avatar as well. I don't really care too much. We're just gonna keep with this. Uh, obviously, they don't let you make zebras on the me creator, so this is the closest thing I can get. But hey, let's try it out. Ooh, what is happening here? This is the island. Ooh. I like it. Whoa. Whoa, are we falling? Oh, we're skydiving! Hey, this is cool. Actually, this might be like the trailer to the game. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Marine Resort. Oh, wow, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. That's why I wanted to check this out. Looks like there's surfing as well. Deep sea diving, jet skis, fishing. Snow Resort, where we have skiing. A fox. Uh, more skiing. Bob sledding. Jet skiing again. Oh, <laughs> I guess it's snowmobile, not jet ski. Mountain resort. Oh wow, oh that's so cool. It looks dangerous, but hey. Oh, and tennis. <laughs> A lot of people compare this to Wii Sports, but I really don't know how many motion control things are in it. it looks like it could be fun. Oh, there's skating. Nice, I think that's the city resort. There's some arcade games, baseball, surfing again, oh, a whole bunch of sports. Polar bears, oh, I like all the wildlife. Was that, was that like a water gun mini game? There's a lot to do then. So I'll try to do a couple episodes of this. Just check it out, try all the different mini games. Very cool. Can we play now? <laughs> Welcome to Ko Kawawa, Kawaii Island. With four separate resorts in the villa grounds, you'll always find something to do on Kawaii Island. Oh, sounds like a brochure. New, no, there's something new, okay. I guess it's this. All right, so let's get to it. I guess we'll maybe like, Try to tackle a resort per, per episode if that works. Mary Bay, oh you can definitely tell this used to be a Wii game. It looks not too bad, but it also really looks like a Wii game. Mystic Jungle. Oh, can I, can I, I can skip this, okay. I just really wanna play. Welcome to Kauai Island, home to four dazzling resorts, marine, city, snow, and mountain. All sorts of fun activities are at your fingertips here. Just go and have a blast finding them. Why does it cut off the text when there's so much more speech bubble? Oops, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lily, one of our resort guides. Pleased to meet you. If you're ready, let's go look for activities. First, we have the Marine Resort, and that means the beach. We have marine bikes available so that you can ride around on the water. Let's try one out now. Oh, ride a marine bike? What is a marine bike? Is it a jet ski? So I can walk around, look at me. Got the cool beach body. So, oh boy, was I supposed to land in the water? I guess so. I can jump. Well, you can just jump out of water to the core strength you need for that. Okay, so I can, whoop, go into the beach. This is so weird. Oh yeah, just, I guess a beach bike? I've never heard that term for a jet ski before. Maybe jet ski is like a copyrighted term. All right, let's go on a jet ski. This is such a weird game. Good. <laughs> I really don't know if this is actually supposed to be a good game or not. I just saw it and I was like, hey, this looks funny. Marine Resorts Treasure Map 1. Here's one of the seven treasure chests. Ooh, treasure. Good, now that that's out of the way, it's time to find an activity to try. Maybe riding that new jet ski I just hopped on? The first activity I'd like to introduce is marine bike races. This activity takes place at Eternal Beach, which is just past Mary Bay. I'll mark it on the map so you don't get lost. Once you reach it, talk to someone with a yellow icon. Have fun. Make your way to the red mark and talk to the person there. Whoa, what is, okay, I don't know what, oh, look to the sky. Look down, I'm on a jet ski, I already was. So we can, can we jump, whoa! And we can break if we need to. I can press X to stop using. This is interesting. This is really weird, I like it. But it's also really weird. 
Okay, so we know how to play now. You don't have to keep reminding me. Can I, do, do I just like need to do everything before you tell me, like you stop telling me? I think it just constantly tells me the controls on the top of the screen, which is a little annoying. I mean, I'll keep it there for now as I sort of figure out everything, but I really don't need to know anymore. Okay, we gotta go this way. And I think, yeah, I see the guy, I see the yellow icon. I'm coming for you! I don't know how to stop this crazy thing! Nah. I followed in my father's footsteps, becoming a marine biker, and no one could ever beat me. They call me the Marine Queen. Oh, this, okay, sorry. I'm guessing you're looking to participate in the marine bike races. I hope you've got some real skill to show me. All right, then, let's get this thing started. Think you can blow me away with your skills? I can't wait to see. All right, marine bike race to sprint race. Race on a marine bike, reach the finish line before your opponents. I know how to play. It kept telling me over and over again, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna instantly forget. Marine bike races, hop on a marine bike and see how fast you can traverse the billowing waves in a race. Cool. So here we are, ready for the, okay, th there it goes. <laughs> this game is weird. It's like, it's not bad, but it's not like astoundingly good so far in a weird way. So I don't know what we gotta do. Like there's no other button than go. Like we can jump over stuff, which might be a good idea at some point. But there's no like tricks or anything we can do yet. It definitely doesn't have that level of polish like Wii Sports or any kind of Nintendo title has with their like Mii related games. Maybe we could play those at some point. I don't have a Wii anymore. I could get one and play like Wii Sports or, isn't there, didn't they make like a more expanded version called Wii Sports Resort or something? I never played that. I could check that out at some point. I, th I think we're doing pretty well right now. I had to be careful of the rocks, but as long as we just sort of skip past that stuff. I don't know why it was telling me I needed the Joy-Cons. Like I, before I got started, I was like, hey, use the Joy-Cons. I was like, okay, I'll use answer the Pro Controller. I sort of wish I could just use the Pro Controller because so far there's like no motion controls involved. Uh, there we go! Yeah, go! Ah, you win! Very cool. So there's that done. I do not need a replay of that race, trust me. Uh, yeah, we win! Oh, that guy has really spiky hair. <laughs> this is so funny. All right, well, seems like the 10 people who uh, watched our race seem to be really happy about it. We're the jet ski champion. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, sprint race stage one. You win. Let us quit then. What are we gonna do now? I think that lady's gonna talk to us again, jumping. Press jump as, fa as you're about to launch into the air off a wave or jumping platform, and you'll fly right up. Okay, cool. Well, you've still got a ways to go. I beat you! But they say practice makes perfect. If you want to get better, come back again. See you for a way to go. You just set a new record. I can't wait to see what you come you can pull off next. Cool. So we got the Marine Resort. Uh, 19 left before you reach 20. Ah. Okay. I, I know that one plus 19 equals 20. <laughs> Congratulations, you got a stamp. I bet you didn't see that coming. Here at Kauai Island, we've put together a special promotion to, to help people find the best activity to participate in. We call it the Kauai Stamp Dash. That stamp you just got is part of it. The rules are simple. I recommend activities for one for you one at a time, and, you'll, and all you have to do is try them out. I'll mark your map with each activity I recommend, so be sure to take a look. Special gear is also available at each resort to help you find the activities you're looking for. Here at the Marine Resort, we offer marine bikes and ATVs, so be sure to try them out. Every time you participate in a new activity, you get a stamp. You'll get spectacular prizes in return, so good luck. Now, do you understand how the Kawawi, uh, or the Kawawi Stamp Dash works? Yes. Perfect, then let's let the Kawawi Stamp Dash begin. Your first goal is to get 20 stamps. Oh, one more thing. You can also see how many stamps you've collected via the pause menu under the Stamp Dash. Just press minus or plus to open it. It has all sorts of useful information, so be sure to check it out. As a reward for getting your first stamp, we're going to start giving you daily gifts. As the name implies, you can pick up one daily gift per day. There are some really great items up for grabs. Are those puppies? That's a really great gift. I wish I could get puppies for going on vacation. Uh, you can keep the vacation, but I just want the puppies. Uh, we've got quite the lineup, so be sure to come back each day. Now for the Kauai Stamp Dash, the next activity I recommend is skydiving. Well, that's quite the jump. You can try it near the boat dock that's facing Rocky Ridge Cove, have fun. 
I just find it funny. Like, what if this was a real vacation place? Daily gift day one, daily gift, new dog breeds, group A. Cool. So I guess you just get doggy friends. But, um, I don't know why the camera does this. I guess I can point it back down. It is a pretty game from a distance. Just like looking at some stuff, it's like, ooh. Hopefully we can really adventure all of it. I guess this water is not as shallow as it looks. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna run into anybody. But yeah, imagine if this is a real vacation resort. It's like, hey, you can do whatever you want, but we recommend that you start with skydiving. <laughs> I feel like that's a little irresponsible. I think you need a license to skydive. But hey, maybe this isn't in an area that has that kind of legislature. Seems just all kinds of dangerous. Anyways, it's, the skydiving sign is here. I thought that was what that was, but I'm just gonna go wherever the game tells me to go. Can we like make a s sweet jump? Oh my gosh! Whoa! We just jumped like three stories in the air. <laughs> and I bump into that person. That was ridiculous. I love it. Let's try it again, ready? Whoa. Whoa, I jumped while I was already in the air. That was insane as well. I love it. So I have to talk to you? No. You're just another person. Are you stranded? I'll help you out later. I gotta do my stamp dash. Remember the whole dash part of the stamp dash. No, this is, oh, this is so interesting. There's just like so much you can do, I guess. Hey, there are all kinds of activities at this resort, but none of them are as exciting as skydiving. Oops, forgot to introduce myself. I'm actually the skydiving pilot and I'll be heading out on another flight any minute. The skydivers I fly with make incredible formations in the sky like uh, while falling. Seeing them in action is amazing. So what do you say? Are you ready to jump into the great blue yonder? There's nothing to be scared of. You just need guts. And a functioning parachute. <laughs> All right, align yourself with a silhouette and complete 10 formations. Oh, so this is where motion controls actually come into play. Cool, so I'm glad I actually have the Joy-Cons. Uh, okay, let's go. This will hopefully turn out well. <laughs> Skydiving, dive through the air in a group of four and work together to do something. I guess this one doesn't take as long to load because it's loading a bunch of blue. <laughs> I look so like, oh no. Why do I look so much different than everybody? I look so scared, I'm like, oh gosh, what did I get myself into? That's how I'd feel if I was actually skydiving as well, so. So we got it, we can move, complete the formation, target 500 points. Now the thing is, whoa, we are just like all over the place. This is a little tough to control. Wait, what? How do I move? How do I move? It, which Joy-Con do I? This is ridiculous, this is tough. I did it! Yeah, okay, that's weird. You gotta move both Joy-Cons at once, but I have them separated. So that's just odd. Oh boy. What's happening now? Oh, we're back at it. See, yeah, that was the problem before. There we go, so if I just get to that position, I don't actually do have to do the rotation. I mean, I get bonus points, I guess, if I do? It looks like I have like a satellite move, crank. Come on, I'll just move this way. Got it, yeah! Well, no, I guess that's the different move types. So I guess freestyle skydiving is a thing. The adder. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I got it, excellent! So what was our goal, 500 points? Because if so, we destroyed that already. We're over a thousand now. Make quite the team. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> the Unipod. Okay, what else do we got going on? We're going this way. The Meeker. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, we got it. Plus 80 for a speed bonus and the combo bonus. So we're getting a lot of points, which is pretty cool. We still have a lot more to go as well. The hook. Oh. Okay, so stair step diamond. I don't really understand the names of these. Maybe, maybe they have more meaning than I understand. Whoa, be careful. The, this is very dangerous. There's just hot air ballooners around. That is, that is not how that's supposed to work. You need to have clear skies. That's very dangerous. Okay, got this one now. Oh, I got there quick. Yeah, that's very dangerous. Especially since we're getting pretty low altitude now without a parachute. Is that all we're gonna do? You guys give up on me? Fine, I'm just gonna freak out because I don't know how to deploy the parachute. Ah, uh, okay, there we go, there we go, right? Yeah, we're also way too close together to be pulling out the parachute as far as I understand, but maybe I don't know. I have, uh, skydiving is not something I'm looking to do in the future. So here's a replay of me just freaking out. Like, what do I do, what do I do? Awesome, we seem to do well, our target was 500, we got 3,720 points. So we went above and beyond uh, here's one of the seven treasure chests scattered around the resort. Once again, another treasure chest. The map is really tiny on the screen most of the time. 
so it's hard to find those, but maybe at some point throughout our vacation adventure, you've got the skydiving bug now, and I'm pretty proud of myself for introducing you to the sport. Zebra, that's one amazing record, keep it up! All right, so there is our second thing. 18 left before you reach 20. Okay. This way. Now for the Kauai Stamp Dash, the next activity I'd recommend is Beach Volleyball. Matches take place at each, or at, at the Beach Volleyball Court at Sunshine Beach. Have fun! All right, uh, confirm gear. ATV, walk, or swim, marine bike. Let's do the marine bike. I don't know where that'll start me. I did wanna see if this guy over this way is actually stranded on this island. Can I help? Will they eventually lead me over to the situation or is this something I just have to figure out on my own? But it's sort of like, I don't know if there's like side quests that you just sort of stumble upon that I have to find, you know? Okay, whoa, get off this thing. Okay, I'm moving way too quick. I keep sliding because I'm <laughs> on the ground, which you're not supposed to do with a, a bike like this. So I need to hop off of this. Thought I was pressing the correct button. Whoa, was that a trick? There we go, okay. So hey, are you stuck? This Rocky Ridge Cove, it's best known for the rock sticking out of the ocean and the chain of small islands. This is the perfect place to pull off a, of quick turns, jumps, and tricks on marine bike. Think you can handle it? Catch you later. Oh, well that wasn't much. Can I hop back on this? Or not, the, the water is a little tough. I thought you were gonna give me a little bit more. Maybe like, like oh yeah, we'll try it out. Oh yeah, look at this, whoa. This is, these are controls they weren't telling me about before, but yeah, you can do some quick turns. You can do our, we can do the jump, of course. Whoa, <laughs> do some little tricks. So I gotta actually, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Totally damage this uh, jet ski or whatever it is. Oh, oh no, it reset me. No, 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 okay, hop back on. I wanna go get an ATV. Here we go. <laughs> this is such a weird game. Well, this might be like one of the weirdest games I've ever played. Hop off, hop off. I don't know what button it is to hop off. Why over here? Wait, why, okay, no, that's not too bad, actually. What is this? This purple. Boat. What is this about? I guess I'm just riding a boat around. Huh, that's interesting. Now I'm here. Okay. Interesting. Okay, whoa, no! That's not what I meant to do. I'm way out this way, though. Which I don't know if this is actually any better, because we're like heading into the mountains. I'm just trying to get back to the beach, which I think this is the way I need to go. Oh, no! Okay, I'm taking the boat back. Get off this thing. Now, how do I get off? Oh, hey, hold on. Why do I have, like, I have points right now. Here. Yeah, look at me go. I like it. Okay, go this way. Never mind. I'm so bad with the controls, they're weird. <laughs> this is such a bizarre game. Are these people having a dispute over here? They're arguing. I mean, I can't help you. Okay. Well, let's go back on the boat. We're gonna skip this. So I guess you could just sit here and watch you know, the world go by as you adventure. But I don't quite need that. What I do need, though, is to drive this crazy thing. This is the wrong way though, so I guess I was facing the correct direction. I don't know, the map is a little disorienting because it doesn't move with you. Uh, I really am never good with maps like that. Oh, the crap, watch out, uh, uh, uh. Okay, we're good. Oh, I do see a little doggy. Can we get doggies? I really want a dog. Hey, can I talk to you? Whoa, oh, 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 hold on, I'm coming back. Uh, let's have a conversation while I'm riding this motor vehicle. Got it, okay. Aren't dogs adorable? I draw dog sketches for fun, and since the dogs are cute, the pictures come out cute too. Have you ever thought about getting a dog? Today I'd recommend Teacup. Yes, give me Teacup. Okay, take good care of them now, be a good doggy. So are you following me, Teacup? Ah, Teacup's following me. Thank you, Teacup. Let's go on a wonderful adventure and have a grand vacation together. We're at Sunshine Beach now. I guess I'll take this sweet jump and hopefully, whoa! Almost landed that in the pool. Like how much damage can we do? Like, do we have some kind of vacation reliability going on here? I'd like to understand the logistics of this uh, vacation resort, but maybe I won't know. Ooh, let's, let's break and get off this thing. And we got our next little thing to do. Hi. Serve said spike, all right, I'm in the groove today. So are you up for a round of beach volleyball? 
It's great playing with the sand between your toes and the wind in your hair. What's the hold up? You've got to, to at least give it a shot. The court's all yours. Now take the ball and let's do this. Wait a minute, hold on, Teacup, you're gonna get it hit by the ball if you're too close. Watch from over there. Okay, well, I mean, Teacup might play a mean game of volleyball. Have you seen Teacup serve? It's insane. It's volley. It's a volleyball showdown on the sand. Score the most points to win. Sure, so we can serve, receive set with A. Spiking is X to jump, and then A during the jump. Okay, so that's actually a pretty simple control set, just A and X. Gotcha. All right, beach volleyball, tough opponents. Press X to do something. <laughs> I don't know what the point of the loading screen tips are if it goes too quick to read them. All right, so uh, we're getting to it. Some people are just hanging out because it's too hot to do anything else. All right, game start. Oh, this is a weirder perspective than I was expecting. Uh, so they're sort of knocking to their friends. Whoa, this is like weird. It controls, like the characters sort of move. I don't even really, I don't move the characters. That's what's going on here that's weird about it. Oh, <laughs> well that's one way to hit the ball. Oh, oh. No, oh, they get the first point, and they're dancing about it. <laughs> My friend here doesn't like it very much, doesn't appreciate it. But yeah, I don't actually move the character. That That's just automatic, and if I press the button too soon, I just fall. Oh, I almost got a spike. That is tough to time, actually. So we're losing for now. We just stick our butts out whenever we lose for whatever reason. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Oh man, that's okay. I gotta stop trying for the spike, but it would be so rewarding if I could get it. Is it like first to how many points? Okay, just play it safe now and just do normal hits. So we're just gonna keep setting it basically. Because it's just that's the those are the three moves, right? Serve, set, spike. All right, oh, 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 not bad, not bad. It's also weird the absolute lack of sound effects. I mean, I get the sound effects, there's not music. Oh, 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 come on. Can we get it, can we get it? Can we score one point? That'd be amazing. Oh, we did it that time, see ya volleyball! That's awesome, so you really need to do a spike to get it. So it's just sort of like waiting for the conditions to like apply, I suppose. Whoa, but it's weird, it's so bizarre. So there's another point for them. Literally no, they didn't do anything. It's my own mistake that got it. Okay, what are you doing? You're pushing me around. Jeez, you gotta team play, team play. Yeah, I'll set it up for you, then you'll bounce it, and then we'll just smack it over that way. Whoa, whoa. I, we're just fighting over it. Like, they're just over there just smacking the ball back. Yeah, we actually got one, that was weird. I was like, they're just having fun hitting it back at us. That was a, an okay serve, I suppose. Whoa. Okay, hit it back to me, and then, not bad. Oh, whoa. They were trying to go for it. Whoa, there we go. It is just a matter of timing, I guess, when it's still heading upwards. If it's heading downwards, it's too late. Okay, we got it this time. Boom, boom, nice spike. Oh, they just barely saved that one. Dang it, I did it wrong again. It's so weird. We're almost catching up now. A bit of a slow start. I guess it wasn't slow, it was just bad. Come on, up. What are they gonna do? Gosh darn it. It seems like whenever it goes over the net, you can't just spike it back. You need to have your teammate bump it up. So I'll try that this time. Okay, Ooh. yeah, that's what you need to do. If you if you let your teammate do it, instead of trying to spike it right back at him, that doesn't seem to work. You always need to set it. Okay, this is such a weird game. I hope you guys enjoy. I mean, if everybody's like, oh, this game is awful, Zephyr, please never play it again. We won't do more than one episode, but. <laughs> In the meantime, I feel like it might be worth a laugh to do like four or five episodes, that's my goal. Because I didn't know if it was actually gonna be genuinely fun or not, and then I, I did it again, and my number one rule that I set for myself, I broke it. I'm like, I'm so mad at myself, like, why would I do that? I gotta get these tickets, man. I paid so, paid so much money to go on this vacation, I can't get all the, I can't not get all the tickets. Okay, so you're gonna hit that, and then I'm gonna, boom! Catching up a little bit more now, five to seven. Okay, that seems to be one way to make a, a, a nice vacation very stressful. It's just like, okay, I'm gonna force myself to get all these sports-related tickets. I mean, if you love sports and that's what you live for, I'm sure it'd be a great vacation spot, but if like that's the whole point, I would be like stressing out the whole time. Like, I gotta get these tickets, man. Gotta get them. I mean, I'd probably just take a nap. Oh, 
Yeah, there we go. We are all tied up. Is it like first to 10? That's a lot of points to get. Can you like jump during a serve? I should probably try that. Okay, you're gonna get it. I'm gonna smack it down. Basically, when you do land a spike, you get an automatic point. Look at my little shimmy. I love it. Hmm. Okay, so you're gonna smack that back, and I'm gonna smack that. Nice spike there. Now it's eight to seven, nine to seven, actually. Ooh. And that's a match. Okay, I, I don't know what the score is supposed to be. Maybe first to 16 points. I have no clue. But we won. You win. Good job, team. Good job. So there's that out of the way. Going back to Kauai Island. We'll try to do like one more mini game. That'll wrap it up for today's episode. But it's been a very weird experience so far. Very weird. All right, Kauai Island. What else do you have in store for me? Are you starting to get the hang of the of the of running on sand? You only just started, so take your time. Come back and play again. All right. Well, there's that one done. Seventeen left. Okay. Zebra, congratulations on getting three stamps. In exchange, I'll show you the information centers. Information centers are located at each of the resorts and act as sort of a home base. Our friendly staff will gladly help with you with outfits, traveling to other resorts, and the school. Feel free to take the, to them anytime. Who would want to go to vacation for the school? The information center is always starting 1.1 is always starting point one at each of the resorts. If you're ever not sure where you are, just check the map in the pause menu. Now for the Kauai Stamp Dash. The next activity I'd re recommend is ATV races. They're looking for participants near the large water fountain behind the hotel at Sunshine Beach. That sounds fun. If you haven't ridden an ATV before, make sure you practice before you play, have fun. <laughs> well, I, I have, it just wasn't very uh, good. Okay, so it's actually just straight ahead. Excuse me, oh, I'm so sorry, teacup. Can I keep teacup? Is that like some complimentary vacation stuff where I could just keep teacup? That'd be amazing. All right, hey there. Hey, hey we're having an ATV race, wanna join in? It's always more fun racing against other people, don't you think? Am I not gonna get the same protective gear you have? You have like a whole chest protector and everything? Uh, that That's what my friend's always saying, hmm? What friend? My ATV, of course. He just talks to it. Great, it's settled. Get ready to ride with the wind on your ATV. Oops, I almost forgot. You'll have to wait here and cheer them on, Teacup. Aw, oh, why can't Teacup get her own ATV? I wanna see Teacup in the next Mario Kart. Uh, race around the course three times and beat your opponent to, finish, to the finish line. Okay, so we already know how to race at an ATV. It'd be cool if you could get like items and stuff. Like it full on is just Mario Kart. Race for pole position and special off-road courses like sandy ridges and bumpy paths. Okay, here we are. Yeah, we're the only one not given gear. <laughs> You'd think there'd be once again. Oh gosh, oh, wrong button. I always think it's press A to go, because that makes the most sense for almost every racing game. Anyways, what's a little dance? A little dance that's like, I'm gonna win eventually. I'm just a bit of an underdog for now. I think that slowed me down a little bit more. As long as we cut corners, maybe even jump over some stuff, like that, ooh. I don't know, I feel like the air time you get makes you go a little bit slower though. But then they really slow down for this corner for some reason. Out of my way! <laughs> I'm coming, we're in third place now. Come on, come on. We're getting there. I'm catching up. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Played a little dirty. The fact that nobody's wearing helmets though, it's a little bit of a problem. Come on, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so I don't know if this thing has like sharp turning. We're about to find out. Oh. Okay, no, it turns pretty, ah! Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's a finish line, don't let them pass me. Don't let them pass me, come on! Come on, ready? Whoop! Yeah, I win! Wait, that was only the first lap, oh boy. I wish there was a way to look behind me. I mean, maybe there is. Pressing, I oh, don't know, okay, never mind. That was uh, that was me accidentally pressing the B button, slowing me down a little bit. So yeah, once again, I wanna go ahead and, whoa, okay. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it worked. So I'm starting to build a lead on these guys. Oh, okay, that worked. That was a nice little drift. So yeah, we're definitely starting to lead on them. Yeah, I feel like these races really could use some kind of like other alternative thing, like a, a like some weapons or maybe just more obstacles, because it's just when you're in the lead, you just sort of sit here pressing the acceleration button and nothing really happens. It's not really all that much more of a race. Maybe they'll get more complicated as we go on, but for right now, it really isn't much. Ooh, okay, not bad, we made it. Gonna be lap number two. 
Good stuff. Or if the track light like, changed each time, that'd be pretty cool as well. Okay. Oh, oh, don't run into the fence. It'd probably be a bad idea. But now I'm curious. Actually, it doesn't really do much. Whoa, dodge the palm trees. Gotta be careful. But really, just cutting the corners is gonna get you the win because they just sort of follow in the center of the track, which obviously isn't the fastest route. You wanna cut those corners as much as possible, especially when there doesn't seem to be any kind of like traction. You go just as fast on the grass as you do the sand and the water. So, yeah. I don't think anybody needs too much advice on how to win a game like this. It seems pretty simple. We're almost there. Come on, just wiggle our way to victory. Oh, I can look both ways. Always looking both ways. Not even just when crossing the street. Okay, I wonder if this like rock that we see that we're right in front of us, I wonder if we could actually jump off of that. That'd be cool. Oh boy, ooh. Okay, we made that work. Let's do an extra jump. Can we do tricks? Oh yeah, I forgot we could do tricks. There's no like ramps to take anything off of, but that's fine. Ooh. I was like spinning around a lot. It's fun. Anyways, we do not want to see a replay of that. There was nothing really exciting going on. But there we go, we win this race, circuit race stage one. Very cool. And there we go, that's like a half an hour of this game. It seemed interesting. Maybe I could play a couple more episodes if you guys want to see it. I think it's more fun just to poke fun at it than it is to really play it all too much, so. Good job, listen, there are lots of other stages for racing ATVs, so come by again for some more fun. Seabird, congrats on setting a new record. Let's see if you can break it again. All right, well, there's that done. All right, 16 left before you reach 20. You can now access the City Resort, Kauai, Kauai, Kauai City Resort. Congratulations, Seabird, you got four stamps. Very nice. Okay. Seabird, con congratulations on getting four stamps. You can now access the City Resort. Just visit the information center and the staff will help you. Ooh, we can skate there, that looks fun. Now, for the Kauai Stamp Dash, the next activity I recommend is... Scuba diving, they're accepting participants over at the Sunshine Beach Pier. Have fun. I'll try. So that's something we'll tackle in the next episode. If there is a next episode, you can always let me know your thoughts. But for now, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of uh, Go Vacation. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Vacation Zebra so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.